Nonetheless, let's move on to this story in Katazo. That's the name of the new giant radio galaxy discovered by a team of South African researchers and astrophysicists. Now, the discovery was published on Monday, and it does come after what is an increase in discoveries over the past five years. Giant radio galaxies are seen as some of the most expansive structures in the universe. But what do they mean for particularly you and I? Let's talk about it, right? And we're joined by Kathleen Charlton, who is the lead author of the study. Kathleen, thank you so much for the time. Let's talk about this a little bit more. What does it mean, actually? I mean, what, what, what have we actually got here? What is Inkatazo? Um, Inkatazo is um, what's known as a giant radio galaxy. So essentially, it's this plasma that comes out of a supermassive black hole at, a center, at the center of most galaxies. And it has spread and grown to this incredible, incredible size of around 32 times the size of the Milky Way. That's 3.3 million light years across. And it's um, really a problem for us because it does not behave like we would expect normal giant radio galaxies to behave. And so that's why it's such an incredible discovery. You, you scared me there for a second, Kathleen, because I was wondering, you're talking about black holes and it's bigger than uh, the Milky Way galaxy as well. That doesn't mean it's going to swallow us up or anything like that, right? We won't be able to see any cosmic changes in our stars, will we? No, no. So, I mean, so 3.3 million light years is how big it is. But this galaxy is over 4 billion light years away. So it's not going to be coming and interacting with us anytime soon. But it, it does make a very pretty picture across the sky. So what does this actually mean, though? I mean, we, it feels as though we're seeing a few more of these phenomena uh, mm -hmm. of late as well. Is there any key reasoning for this? Yes. Well, so firstly, it shows how cool Meerkat is as a telescope. So Meerkat is the telescope that has been built in the Karoo yeah. and is the pathfinder and precursor to the SKA telescope, which is also being built here in South Africa. Um, and it shows how good this telescope is and how South Africa and Africa can really lead the way for future discoveries. Um, it also actually for us um, astronomers is a good thing when we've realized that our science and our physics and our understanding doesn't quite give us the whole picture because it means that there's more for us to learn and to discover um, in terms of the origins of these um, really, really massive galaxies and what that means um, for life here on Earth and how we came to be. Yeah. Uh, if this is the case, then, if we've got all of this, does this mean we're... As you said, we become the forefront of being able to discover a whole host of these things. But obviously, it just means that the world gets to view the world, or the stars, really, from our side of the galaxy. How pertinent and important is that for the future of astrophysicists uh, and astrophysics itself? It's really important. Um, I mean, first off, in terms of like the rest of the world and stuff like that, we need to foster collaborations. Astronomy and ast astrophysics um, in particular as a science is very international. Um, you've got these big teams. So I, I was the lead author, but I was working with a massive international collaboration from people with people across the world, um, from Australia, from the UK, um, from India, like all working together. Um, and so kind of showing that South Africans really can lead astronomy and can be um, at the forefront of, um, of science is really, is really important. Also, um, just to have like in terms of the actual physics side, it's really important to kind of constantly be probing at, um, at, our, at our understandings as to how black holes came to be, how galaxies came to be, how do they evolve, yeah. how do they grow. Yeah, so it, it's all really important and exciting questions that we're starting to answer. Kathleen, you're an astro astrophysicist, or at least in, in learning to be one, at the, especially then. Mars, what does that look like? Are we going to move to Mars, are we? I mean, that seems to be the case and what Donald Trump and Elon Musk want. Oh, I mean, I really like um, keeping my feet here on Earth and looking up at the stars. <laughs> um, I definitely think that there are some people who are, are looking towards going that way. But um, I'm going to keep my feet right on the ground and look up at galaxies. Yeah. So I think that's I'm going to be. Yeah, when my mother tells me to stay grounded, I think that's exactly what she means. That I just, just 
stay here on earth. It might just be good for me. Kathleen, appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining us uh, this afternoon here on Newsroom Africa and just sharing a little bit more, particularly with regards to this giant radio galaxy and a lot more of these phenomena that we are beginning to see, particularly in our stars. Uh, and of course, coming through because of the Meerkat uh, telescope that we do have here in South Africa and the further developments we are seeing in the space. Kathleen Charlton, lead author and MSc student at the University of Cape Town.